Serum calcium is one of the tests of the comprehensive metabolic profile, also called the complete metabolic panel. The normal serum calcium is 8.5 to 10.6 milligrams per deciliter. A high serum calcium is one that is higher than 10.6 milligrams per deciliter. Usually there are no symptoms if the serum calcium is less than 12, but when it's greater than 15, the symptoms are severe. Symptoms of high serum calcium include kidney stones, increased urination, increased thirst, and increased water drinking. High calcium can also cause decreased kidney function if it's chronic. It can cause osteoporosis or osteitis fibrosis cystica when the parathyroid hormone level is elevated. There can be bone pain from pathologic fractures such as compression fractures of the vertebrae. There can be bone pain from cancer growing in bone when cancer is the cause of the high calcium level. High serum calcium can cause fatigue, trouble concentrating, anxiety or depression or both, weakness, confusion and hallucinations, psychosis and even coma. A high serum calcium level can cause constipation, decreased appetite, nausea, and vomiting. It can cause high blood pressure and EKG changes. High serum calcium can be caused by an elevated parathyroid hormone level. This is the most common cause of high serum calcium. To look for this possibility, we order an intact parathyroid hormone level, a blood test. Malignancy, cancer, can cause a high serum calcium. A high serum calcium occurs in 10 to 20 percent of adults with malignancy, and it's the most common cause of high serum calcium in hospitalized patients. It is not a common cause in high serum calcium found on routine blood testing. Uh, such as when someone goes to the doctor for a routine visit. When then should we look for malignancy as the cause of high serum calcium? The physician usually shouldn't even consider malignancy uh, as a cause of high serum calcium unless the parathyroid hormone level is normal and there are other abnormal blood tests as noted on this slide. Other causes of high serum calcium are much less common. Now let's turn to a low serum calcium. A low serum calcium is lower than 8.5 milligrams per deciliter. Symptoms can include numbness and tingling, confusion, irritability, hallucinations, seizures. There can be abdominal pain. There can be diarrhea in cases due to malabsorption. There can be irregular heartbeats, slow heartbeat, decreased muscle strength, and an abnormal EKG. There can be abnormal breathing sounds such as wheezing or strider. The evaluation of low serum calcium includes the blood tests listed on this slide. The causes of low serum calcium include a low serum parathyroid hormone level, resistance to parathyroid hormone action, vitamin D deficiency, pseudo-vitamin D deficiency, and other causes. Pseudo-vitamin D deficiency refers to a problem with the production of vitamin D or with the action of vitamin D on the cells. Well, that's it for this visit. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.